in the Southern Cape. All form part of amenities that are available to the local community and visitors alike. The surroundings lend itself superbly to the 4x4 adventurer to meet the challenges of the countryside. One can choose from a range of 22 different 4x4 routes in this area. Where there'd be visits to different plant habitats, geological formations, cave art, conservation areas, or whatever the interest of the visitor might be, or it might be that the adventurer would like to just demonstrate his driving ability. One of the circle routes that is strongly recommended to tourists of these parts is the Durist, Meiringspoort, Prince Albert and back route across the Swartberg Pass. This experience of a half a day will not be forgotten lightly. Hamkas Kruf, generally known as the Hell, is situated between Oetswen and Prince Albert's. In order to reach Hamkas Kruf, one should travel over the Swatberg Pass. At the summit of this mountain range, the road turns into a westerly direction and eventually reaches the hidden historic valley where a small remote farming community has existed since the 1830s. This area was accessible only by foot or horse until 1962 by using different routes. The overnight facilities in and around one of the restored self-catering huts, the quiet of the night and the bright starry heavens ensure that the tourist has an experience money will never be able to buy. A highlight of a visit to Oetswen is certainly a visit to one or more of the world-renowned ostrich farms. The experienced jockeys riding the ostriches find it easy to stay on top, a feat that could have them qualify for the Olympics. During a tour of the farm, there is much to be learnt, enjoyed and seen regarding this curious but largest bird on earth. And no visit to an ostrich farm is complete without the tourists having appreciated the exquisitely handcrafted ostrich articles. This region and its people provide a wide variety of activities from which the tourist can choose according to his interests and needs. There is something for everyone to enjoy at these holiday farms situated in such an extraordinary environment. Should the tourist be a little more adventurous, a quad bike tour at Chandelier is their ideal activity. Safety is of great concern to everyone involved. Game tours are recommended for the outdoor kind of person who wants to enjoy the sight of a variety of big and ground game in their natural habitat. Buffel's Drift Game Lodge offers guests a unique bushveld experience in the heart of the Tain Karua. Come and enjoy being close to nature and experience African sunsets in the company of a variety of wild animals, which include elephant, hippo, buffalo and giraffe. Experiences such as elephant walks, bush safaris, game viewing, on horseback and many more await the visitor. Watch wild meerkats in nature. Help conserve wild meerkats and other shy secrets of wildlife from the Shy Five. No animals are fed or tamed at Meerkat Magic. Being patient and gaining the very selective trust from wildlife takes many years here. Grant is an active conservationist and research biologist and has studied wild meerkats and made many different wild meerkat films with the BBC, National Geographic and Discovery Channel. The ethnic African Bongoletu Township Tourist Development Project is unique. It focuses on the advancement of pride among inhabitants for their environments. These kind of projects are a must for the tourist to visit. Apart from all the sites the tourist industry has to offer, Otsuan and the surrounding areas are extremely privileged to boast a number of artists of world class. Art forms such as painting, sculpture, pottery, weaving and creative writing are practiced. In the neighboring town of Karlitzdorp, a number of artists continue their creative work uninterrupted. Maybe they have been inspired by the tranquility and beauty of nature to do just that. A group of women created magnificent pieces of art on the life of Christ in their local church hall. To be part of the passengers of the 10-story hot air balloon is a sensational experience. 
While still cool, Otsuan has the ideal windless conditions necessary for such an early morning flight. Just imagine drifting as light as a feather at slow speed and enjoying every minute of it. The flight lasts about 45 minutes and the balloon can carry up to six passengers. Man sometimes has a need to return to his roots and forget the luxury of sleek city transport in exchange for a donkey cart ride. The Donkey Awareness Project in Durist offers the tourists this unexpected but tantalizing experience. One can sponsor one's own cart. This is when one realizes that the donkey is indeed a wonderful thing. The particularly mild climate of the Klein Karur Valley between the two mountain ranges brings about that this jewel of creation is especially suited for seed production. Almost all vegetable and grazing crops such as lucerne for top ostrich fodder are cultivated under very strict production conditions by a number of seed companies and distributed across the globe. An international seed laboratory at the Klein Karur Group serves as reference facility for purity moisture content and testing for growth. The area in which the visitor finds himself is an internationally recognized hotspot rich in plant species found nowhere else on earth. At least 1,500 endemic species are found in the region. Most of these plants are unique and very special. If the rains have been sufficient during March and April of a year, the Klein Karur is transformed into a flowering paradise during October. The succulent Karur biome has more than 6,000 species, of which 40% are endemic. One of the access routes to the Klein Karur runs via George and the Otaniqua Pass. A stunning view of the Warburms Kral Valley welcomes the visitor to a part of the country filled with open plains and blue skies. This valley, together with George, is a region where hops used in the brewing of beer for its bitter taste is cultivated. The root stock starts growing during September and as a result of well-drained soil and warm moist weather these plants flourish here. Harvesting the cones and its subsequent processing takes place during February and March. The mild fertility of soil and the favorable climate of the Klein Karur with its warm dry summers are ideal to ensure the volumes of the young but growing olive industry and are taken good care of. During October the trees blossom and then wind pollination takes place. Olives are harvested by hand during the months of March to August during which it is transported to Olea, the olive processor in Otsuan. The largest part of the Klein Karur wine route along Route 62 covers the region and brings the tourist into contact with various wine cellars. A large variety of quality and